Here comes the beehive cluster of the eighth mansion of the moon leading into a sequence of mansions portrayed in many Hollywood movies, including Alfred Hitchcock's 1963 movie, The Birds. We're going to show you how script writers for movies and television shows write ancient lunar mansion themes into their storylines. And now, here is your weekly Mansions of the Moon Signs horoscope from the 22nd to the 28th of August, 2022. Now, Mansions of the Moon Signs, waning crescent moon begins. Waning crescent moon from August 22 to the 26th. A new moon in Virgo at 8.17 a.m. on August 27th. And a waxing crescent moon August 28th, 2022, transits through Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. Tropical astrology, universal time coordinated. Use receptive imaginings, pictures, films, advertising, or magic during a waning crescent moon. Complete receptive magic spells before a new moon or begin projective magic rituals after Luna completely conceals her light. Use projective magic during a waxing crescent moon. Now, as people have asked, what is the difference between projective and receptive? Basically, when it's receptive, you'll find that these things will happen to you without any effort on your part or it's something that you will do okay with effort now the way you utilize the carrot and the stick or the both the positive and the negative sides of the battery for yourself is earlier before the day happens of a lunar mansion you you like make a picture maybe or a video and then you watch it or gaze upon it and you know and then you'll receive it when the lunar mansion comes in its waning phase but you have to do it right and if you keep doing it it will manifest things do manifest but a lot of times there's a lot of other things involved but when something surprises you you're being receptive to a lunar mansion and if you because the, the trick with magic is that you have to not have a lust for results you have to not expect it to be coming to you. That's why it's difficult to do that with, with your own magic because you, you know you, you did it and you expect it and then that causes a problem. But there are ways that magicians work you know, to get rid of that problem. But anyway, that's in a nutshell. We'll, we'll do a whole special video on that. But somebody asked about it, so I thought I'd cover it. So now, without further ado, here is your daily Lunar Mansion Magic Angels and Lords Astrology Guidance for the week of August 22nd to 28th. We're going to begin with August 22nd. We have a Cancer waning a crescent moon in Lunar Mansion number 8 at 0, 20, 28 hours and it's favorable to find love. Amongst traveling companions, beware pictures of cruel detention centers mistreating their detainees for this image will bring these things to pass. So be aware of that. Now, vermin and mammalian pests are chased away during this mansion. Beware images of specific types of timid or poor people being driven from their homes as if they are parasites for such representations will cause this to happen. Use an icon of an eagle sporting the strong face of a human. For this rendering will give you great conquest in warfare. The Egyptians use an icon like that. A man's face on an eagle body. The Egyptians knew much about magic. And actually that's where black magic comes from. It comes from chem. And that's where you get chemistry because the black sands in Egypt and the, and the chemical chemical magic, that's what black magic really means. It's about the magic of Egypt and the chemistry involved. It's actually the alchemy involved from where you get chemistry. It's chem, like K-H-E-M, I believe. From Misty in the constellation of Cancer the Crab with Lunar Angel Amnediel and Lord Annex DX. In Alfred Hitchcock's 1963 movie, The Birds, the plot has several varieties of feral birds, or pests, like in the mansion number eight, suddenly begin to attack humans by pecking at them until they are dead, and even pluck out a man's eyes in one scene. Then, the characters in the birds spend most of the movie running away and chasing away these birds, these attacking birds, from the homes and schools of their town. So they're either being attacked in the movie or they're chasing away the birds or, trying, or fighting back against these birds, okay? 
And if you're running away, that's receptive. If you're attacking, that's projective. You get the idea. Now, now, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. So I'm going to tell you something about the very important of the plot of the birds. If you haven't seen it, I can't imagine anybody that hasn't seen the birds. But if you haven't, Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, 1963. If you haven't seen it, there was a sequel too that was good. But if you haven't seen it, the spoiler alert. Okay, so so just skip. Uh, in the description box, I have the the days and the moon, so that you can click on it. So click to the next day if you don't want to hear the spoiler. If you haven't, if you haven't seen the movie The Birds, click on that. Okay. So now the spoiler. Okay, the spoiler is. In some scenes of this movie, people are driven out of their homes by hordes of vicious birds, okay? So understand that that is something that, that happens in this movie, okay? And it totally goes with mansion number eight. But also in movies and in TV shows, they often do, especially in movies because they're longer, a sequence of a sequence of these mansions, right in sequence. And indeed, the movie The Birds came on, I recorded it a few days ago, maybe about you know, half a week ago or a week ago or so. And now, this week coming up, the 22nd and 28th, it goes right in, it's actually the exact same as a week. And it's all in The Birds, the movie. So that's how it's done. If you're somebody writing plots or scripts or whatever for TV shows and movies, this is where it's from. Understand that. A lot of things come out of the Talmud, too. Understand that. Okay? Okay. Now, August 23rd, I'm going to go to that. Now, August 23rd, we have a cancer winning crescent moon in Lunar Mansion number 9. Love Potion number 9. Lunar Mansion number 9. At 0233 hours, men argue and fight with each other during this mansion, and these stars thwart production yields as well as journeys unfamiliar men upset and disheartened women when Luna activates this mansion and therefore women should guard themselves against strange men and indeed in the movie The Birds there's a lot about women having to protect themselves and, and also men having to protect themselves but it, you know it's a lot of sort of intrigue and paranoia in the movie beware the image of a eunuch covering his eyes with his hands for it causes infirmities it causes illness, okay? From the stars that reside in the glance of the lion's eye in the sign of cancer, the crab with lunar angel Barbiel and Lord Robel. Okay. In Alfred Hitchcock's 1963 movie, The Birds, actress Tippi Hedren stars in the film portraying the character Melanie Daniels, symbolizing the angel Barbiel. She's a Barbie doll. Get it? Got it? Good. She's the angel Barbie L of this lunar mansion number nine in that she represents the Barbie doll in this picture. Okay? Consider that the character seven of nine, that is one of the Borg, okay? A cybernetic race of aliens portrayed by Jerry Ryan, portrayed seven of nine in Star Trek Voyager and also in Star Trek Picard. And she sports the same hair color and hairstyle that Tippi Hedren character Melanie Daniels does in The Birds. It's the same Barbie doll. Whenever you see that, that's the Barbie doll. Okay, the same hairstyle, same color, same type of person, slender and very beautiful face and very, you know, the blonde hair and the, the sort of, you know, a very modest sort of, uh, well, we'll talk about that more later, but sort of a modest French role and, and a modest... Uh, Beehive, but we'll get to that in a moment here, okay? So under, understand that. It's because Lunar Mansion number nine is connected to the star Precipe, which is connected to the Beehive Cluster, okay? And that is associated Beehive Cluster to Beehive hairdo. So, and th this hairstyle is a modest beehive because it's a modest beehive in a French roll. That's what they used in... The birds for Tippi Hedren's what they use for seven, Jerry Ryan for seven of nine, okay? And that's, I believe, what they use for Sharon Stone in, in um, Basic Instinct. I don't know if she had as much of a teasing on top, but Tippi Hedren definitely had a lot of the teasing on top. But the beehive, the modest beehive hairdo, okay? That's how it works. That's where it all comes from. It all comes from astrology. All of it. Religion, writing, all of our, all the things that inspire us, it all comes from astrology. 
August 24th, Cancer, waning crescent moon. It goes, it spans to Leo moon, to end of Cancer, to beginning of Leo in lunar match number 10. At 0432 hours, benevolent for gaining adoration, love, and sympathy. Brings fortification for structures and enables you to subdue your rivals and triumph over your opponents. Use an icon showing a lion's head, which expedites childbearing. Also, lifts up sadness, speeds up slowness, and heals sickness from the heart and body of whomever you wish to provide with therapeutic remedies. Then give medicinal tonics prepared for such healing. This is from the neck or forehead of the lion, also known as the heart or brow of the great Arabic lion. This mansion spans from the end of the constellation of Cancer the Crab to the beginning of Leo the Lion with Lunar Angel Ardesiel and Lord Ardafir. Ardafir. Okay? Now, it's interesting. It's interesting that Tippi Hedren then went on to be someone that had a place called, I think, Shambhala for to protect lions and tigers, especially lions. Very interesting how it all unfolds. Even when people aren't trying, these lunar mansions unfold. They, they do. Now, August 25th, Leo waning crescent moon in lunar mansion number 11 at 0615 hours bestows glory to you that all men shall fear you and idolize you and that you receive all good things from kings, noblemen, and lords. Use the image of a man riding a lion and holding the lion's ear in his left hand while grasping a ring made of gold in his right hand to persuade the angel of this mansion to do his bidding in bringing you admiration, worship, and respect. So riding a lion, okay? You may also create pictorial enchantments to profit your expeditions, to expand your holdings by way of acquiring commodities, goods, and services, and to free prisoners from the mane of the lion in the constellation of Leo the Lion with Lunar Angel Nikia and Lord Nicole. Lord Nicole. Now August 26th, Leo waning crescent moon to Virgo moon in lunar mansion number 12 at 0739 hours. Find profitable harvest and friendship. Also good for bettering employees and allies. Beware altercations. Avoid travel upon the sea. Also beware the image of a man or an angel fighting with a dragon or a serpent or an alien. For it causes the, the, the uh, separation of lovers. Okay, it causes the separation of lovers. Often this is how the Archangel Michael is depicted. Okay. Also, many science fiction images have this effect since aliens often look like a type of dragon. So that will separate lovers and get rid of lust. So it'll make your lover not want to have, not have lust for you anymore and not have it for each other, okay? From the tail of the lion in the constellation of Leo the Lion with lunar angel Abdizu and Lord Abdizu. Okay, now, August 27th, we have a new moon in Virgo at 8.17 a.m. occurring in the aforementioned 12th mansion of the moon, which spans from the end of Leo to the beginning of Virgo before the waxing crescent moon moves into lunar mansion number 13, spanning from the beginning of Virgo to the middle of the Virgin several minutes later at 08.42 hours. Find generosity, increase journeys, and so you're going to find generosity, increase in all that you have, goods and services, journeys, and reaping rewards, and detainees getting independence, the freeing and the liberation of prisoners. Use pictures or figurines of couples embracing with the woman in white wax and the man in red wax to help spellsmen for decisive procreative encounters and romance for the creation of progeny. And magical scents and aerobics to, to your talisman should be added by perfuming wax figurines with lingam alloys and amber. Amber. Impotence curses placed upon a man can be dissolved with these potent magical talismans. From the dogs of Virgo or the winged ones of Virgo, with the Arabic it was the dogs in a kennel, and in and later ones in Greek and Roman it was and Egyptian, I believe it was winged ones of Virgo. In the constellation of Virgo the Virgin with lunar angel Jaziriel and Lord Azarut. Lord Azarut. In the birds movie, actress Veronica Cartwright who was in Aliens, remember? Actress Veronica Cartwright playing Kathy Brenner mentions the word jazz, okay? To actress Tippi Hedren starring as Melanie Daniels. The angel Jaziriel is invoked when the character Kathy Brenner mentions the word jazz to 
the character of Melanie Daniels, turning Barbiel into Jaziriel for the purpose of Melanie Daniels becoming romantically involved with Kathy Brenner's father, Mitch Brenner, portrayed by Rod Taylor. And Rod Taylor looks like a strong lion. He does. I don't know his sign yet. I haven't looked it up, but he's, he, he looks like a strong lion. And they become romantically involved. Who's riding the lion? Tippi Hedren. She becomes worshipped. That's the way it works. That's the way it works. Because the Tippi Hedren must have, have felt her character, Melanie Daniels, was a good luck charm for her since her daughter, Melanie Griffith, is the namesake of this character. So Tippi Hedren's daughter is named Melanie Griffith, that actress Melanie Griffith. And I think, I think Tippi Hedren's granddaughter is, uh, her name is... Dakota Johnson, I believe. I think she's in 50s Shades of Grey or something like that. So anyway, I'm more familiar with Melanie Griffith, that's more my generation. But uh, Tippi Hedren, she played her, the most, probably best role of her life or the one that she got the most notoriety for besides, um, I, th I believe the other one was Marnie. But anyway, my husband liked the movie Marnie. I liked the birds. And, but she played in both of them and they were both Alfred Hitchcock. And she, probably had such good luck from playing Melanie, uh, Melanie Daniels that she named her daughter Melanie. See? See how these things work. See how these things play out. Okay? August 28th, we have Virgo waxing crescent moon in Lunar Mansion number 14 at 0924 hours. Find healing of ailments and cures for sickness. Favors married couples. Good for voyaging on the water. Bad for journeys on the land. Beware the image of a dog chasing and biting his tail, for it causes divorce and separation of the man from the woman. From Virgo's ear of corn, in the constellation of Virgo the Virgin with lunar angel or Gediel and Lord Erdigal. Now, some books I'd like to recommend that I, that I think are must-haves, and you can get the um, some of one I know for sure. You get two online; uh, they have them online. They're very generous with that. But Picatrix I've found online, Picatrix. And uh, the writing is, uh, is according to, he wrote it, Maslama al Madriti. And I believe Renaissance Astrology has published uh, uh, that book. I, I should make sure of that before I keep saying that, but I'm pretty sure. And also, Three Books of Occult, occult Philosophy, which I do have that book. Three Books of Occult Philosophy, and that's, I have the Llewellyn one edited and annotated by Donald Tyson, because I have a lot of Donald Tyson books. I bought a lot of Donald Tyson books. Get Tetragrammaton by Donald Tyson, great book. And um, it has, has another one called The Modern Magus or The New Magus or something like that, and I have that one too. That's about the whole Kabbalah being based on Mercury instead of the sun. Very interesting. Anyway, and the third one, oh, anyway, but, but three books of a called philosophy was written by, the author is Henry Cornelius Agrippa, and it was edited and annotated by Donald Tyson, published by Llewellyn. And also the third one, must have, I use it every day, I use it for so many things, The Mansions of the Moon, A Lunar Zodiac for Astrology and Magic, written by Christopher Warnock, published by Renaissance Astrology. So thank you for joining us, join us again next week. <laughs>